we are in the car, driving out to Great Sands Provincial Park. Where are we going? Sabaku. We're going to the Sabaku, the desert. So, about a four and a half hour drive from yeah. Calgary. And we should be arriving around sunset. Should be. Hopefully. Just straight, a lot of nothing out there. A lot of straightness. What do you want to see? What do you want to achieve on our trip? Sand hills, sunset, maybe sunrise too. So. Milky Way too? Milky Way? Yeah. Probably go to the Milky Way. We're gonna go to the Milky Way. Well, we're gonna look for the Milky Way at night. How when are we gonna sleep? Uh, campground? In the tent? Yeah, but when? When? In the morning? No, we're gonna see sunrise too. We're not gonna sleep. <laughs> Maybe. No sleeping, okay. No sleeping. So we'll maybe do some scoping out of the sand dunes this evening after we set up camp. Either way, we'll get up early and go and get some sunrise photos. If we can. If we can, if we can find out where we need to go. And also, maybe we can just hang out during the day. Yeah. Go swimming. Yeah, there's a pool. Is there? I didn't bring a bathing suit. I didn't bring... Mazugi. Wait, Mazugi? Mizugi. Mizugi. Mizugi or Motorai. Go for Watch out for gophers. So I guess the plan is... Sunrise. Take some photos around town during the day, maybe. Eat some food. Go back for sunset. Shoot some Milky Way photos. Maybe just do Milky Way tonight. Yeah. We are now entering Saskatchewan. Oh, another road suck. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on a dirt road. We're in Saskatchewan. Yay! Classic. Cool. Hello, good morning. We didn't have the greatest start to our day, sadly. We were awoken at three in the morning in the field by some sprinklers. <laughs> so all of our fucking camp gear got soaked. And instead of waking up at four, we woke up at, you know, woke up at three. So whatever is what it is. So here we are at the Great Sand Hills Provincial Park. Weather looks good this morning. We found ourselves beside this strange tree of cowboy boots.
somewhat successful out here. I think Takumi's getting some good photos back there. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, I ended up kind of replicating, honestly, some of the photos I've been doing in, in my ice series and some of the stuff I've been doing with hoodoos lately. Because I'm just shooting with a kind of a closer lens. I brought a 35 and a 50, but nothing super wide for shooting big landscapes. So it's mostly been some detail stuff, some detail work, close-ups. I don't know. I don't know if I love it. There's a few shots that I think are pretty good. We'll see how they come out in the editing room once I get them home. But at this hour, with this light, it's five in the morning here, 5.30. Um, the light's really long on the uh, the fall off is really nice between one side to the other. So there's some interesting, interesting, interesting close-ups you can get. So I've been playing with shapes again, shapes and form and light. I guess that's really what this art form's all about. So obviously I don't shoot too much when I'm out in the in the in the moment trying to shoot, so I don't get too many uh, too much video. Obviously, but that's a trade-off. It's hard to be a YouTube make YouTube videos and take photos at the same time. So yeah, well. Uh, Stop it here, I think, and keep shooting till the light is gets uh, gets a bit too high in the sky, and then uh, head back to the car for some breakfast. Maybe make some oatmeal or something. I don't know what we got. I don't know how much water we have. <laughs> Probably not enough. So, thankfully, we're not too far from town. We can go rescue our soaking wet tents.